everyone, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I am going to be documenting the week of Christmas, after Christmas, that type of thing. I usually do this, just kind of do bits and pieces of things that are happening, my family's around, some of Nick's family's here. Uh, we're just doing, you know, a lot of Christmassy things and I figured I would just bring you guys along. We're gonna be starting out the video with some Christmas cookies, like cutout cookies. I am not like the best at it and my sisters are around. We had originally planned to do it today, but then we decided to push it out a little bit, but I really had wanted to do some for our neighbors and like our pool care guy and things like that. So I might do like just some of it today. Huh? You have a lot more? Um, I have some. Oh yeah, you have a lot more. Oh, how do you do that? Roll it out, like pie dough. Oh, I have mine. Let me know what kind of traditions you all have. This was something that my mom always did growing up, and I have definitely not done it every year, but I feel like I'm gonna maybe try to make it be a habit. So, yeah, we're gonna give this a go. I have both girls in bed at the moment, and Oakland thought this is kind of boring, so <laughs> I'm like, hey, whatever. Uh, the boys are in school today yet, and then tonight they have their school program, and then they're off for a good two and a half weeks, I think. We are hosting Christmas Eve here again, and also we'll be hosting on Christmas, and I have kind of a long list of things to do, but I'm slowly knocking them out, I feel like. I'm gonna keep doing my cookies and continue on with the video. We're having a lot of Cohen snuggles right now. That's blended entertainment, get out now. Anything else in here? Um, I want this one. This one? Well, we haven't done those. That's true. <laughs> uh, which one? Which one? I got these cute little boxes on Amazon. Put some cookies in. I had hoped to make some like candy and stuff, but I didn't actually get around to it. So, got a few of those boxes. And then we have some for us, and then the mom and the girls took some back to the house to eat as well. So these will not last long, believe me, but they are good. What you doing, Harp? Okay. Not for I can't tell her or remind her that I put something in her hair because she'll just pull it out. She refuses to leave bows in her hair. And I've tried ponytails on occasion. They just look a little funny, but if she's distracted, then generally she lets it go until she discovers it, then it's out again, so. <laughs> Wow. 
wait, don't look inside yet. Okay. It's yours. Well. Don't look inside yet. Okay, yeah, we got it. Mr. Harper. What is this? Take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video which is walnut creek foods if you are not familiar with this brand they are a food company based in ohio so amish country where i'm from originally and they have a really cool story they have multiple stores they do a lot of shipping and they also do some manufacturing of like their own products they'll ship it out to uh, like for instance bulk food stores across the united states they're, they have a wide variety of different food related items also like uh, jams jellies in their walnut creek cheese stores in ohio if you're ever in the area berlin and walnut creek make sure you go check out their store it's really fun to go in there they actually have a little cafe upstairs you can eat at they have your normal grocery related things and they have you know like decorations and also a lot of like things you might need in your kitchen it's just something that i enjoy talking to you guys about and make you all aware so i have i just pulled a few things out of my fridge that i currently have from them i can get some of the things down here they're not everywhere but they are in you know even some of your gas stations things like that they do have an online website where they sell a, a pretty wide variety of things i have definitely done that a couple times already so check that out and use my discount code lynette for 10 percent off your online order i will link everything in the description box and you can go check it out there so for christmas i'm going to make a angel food cake layered dessert using some probably blueberry pie filling. I also have some homemade grape pie filling that I might like mix together. I have some angel food cake that I had gotten, I used for another event here the other night and I had extra, I just bought it. And so I decided, well, I'm just gonna put the extra in the freezer, like the cake itself. And I'm hoping it'll be okay to just use. I'll thaw it, uh, do it like in a trifle style. And so I'm just doing some prep. This is several days ahead of time. The other dessert that I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do like a Swedish cream in individual glass containers. I actually just thrifted some, like four of these. And also a couple of like smaller glasses for the kids also just thrifted. And I'll just like fill them individually. And then you make like a little berry sauce to go on top. Saturday, right? The kids mm -hmm. slept in this morning. It's eight o'clock and the girls are getting up and the boys are not up yet. And I got a walk-in this morning, which is not something I normally do, but felt good. So now I'm drinking my coffee and we might go to the beach today with my sisters. There's not been a lot of beach weather lately. <sighs> and next week does not look nice. Looks pretty rainy. <sighs> so Nick is going to be gone with some friends anyway golfing and so we might go do that
Okay, we got our work done. I got the house somewhat cleaned and my sisters are at the beach. It's literally like the only nice day it looks like for almost like a week. It's only 70 degrees and it's probably feels less warm than that. So I'm it's so excited to go to the beach. Yeah, you're excited. It's generally this is not beach weather for me, but there I haven't been out in forever, I kid you not. So I decided I'm gonna get my work done and we're gonna go out. The boys did not want to go. They were out on the boat the other day, but they're not the biggest beach people and the water is frigidly cold right now, so they don't really have anything to do there. So they opted to stay back at my parents' house. Oh, so I did. I brought your pink bucket. I found a couple new beach toys at the thrift store. Seems like we lose them eventually. All right, we're ready to go. Oh, look, they're over there. Sitting on the chairs. Look over back here by the grass. Go get them. Do you like it? I think it's water. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> Get that McDonald's sweet tea. It is good. <laughs> okay, that's enough now. Good job. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank <laughs> you. It's all done now. Okay, go scoop your sand with Oe. Oh. One more. Okay. That's good. I guess it'll push your nap out a little bit. Okay. Mm. Okay. Go help Owie now. Okay. <laughs> That's all done. No more.
making a cheeseburger soup for tonight at Christmas Eve. So it's Christmas Eve, almost four o'clock, fueled by my iced coffee that I'm finally getting. Why am I so yellow? Anyway, okay, so Nick's watching some football. I think the table is set. It's like a semi-formal affair. I think we're gonna do cafeteria style with my family tonight, and but then go sit down and I have like some table settings. I don't have like a complete huge hosting amount of like bowls and all the proper stuff yet. I'm kind of slowly building it up. So we're going to do like a, a mixture. We tend to be pretty informal anyway, so we're all cool with it, but I wanted to make it as festive as I could. So I have pretty much everything done. The soup is done. I am making my syrup to go on top of the Swedish cream for tomorrow. I'm getting the recipe from the Flour and Grace cookbook. And so I'm making that kind of prep. I also did my potatoes, I peeled them. I decided to just do mashed potatoes tomorrow, even though we're having them tomorrow evening with my dad's extended family too. It's just easier. So we're gonna have a, yeah, a, a smaller family thing tomorrow. Nick's brother and one of their friends. And then one of my siblings, Trent and Kara, are coming. The others are kind of doing different things tomorrow forenoon and over lunchtime. So it's like a mixture of who's coming. So I'm hosting tonight and tomorrow. So tonight's our big gift exchange, like name exchange that we do. And that's kind of the main thing for like my family. And I think some of Nick's family is getting together in Ohio. Some are down here too. So yeah, our tradition is to do soup if it's Christmas Eve. So I made the soup and the biscuits and then I'm hosting everything. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. We're gonna try and get a family picture, pretty informal one, but mom really wants one and we don't take them very often at all. So we're gonna try and get that done before it gets dark. So anyway, gonna keep working here. Oh, I got some Look at it. Come on, Dallas. 
Get in, Ruby. Hey, yeah. Look at my gift too. Oh, my goodness. You might have to build that for me. Do you want a baby to put in it? You want a baby? Wow.